Hello friends, in this video we will see what is translational repeat option available in Stat Pro and how we can use it to model our structure. Translational repeat is one of the most extensively used command in Start Pro. Therefore, we will have a look into it. To explain uh, the translational repeat, we will draw a frame. Uh, let me show which structure we want to draw. Okay, I'll draw a frame structure here. I will draw a plan and the elevation of the frame structure. First, I will draw a plan. Let me draw the plan. This is the length. Okay, always this is x this is z and this will be my y axis this is my plan which means that this is the x z view okay i'm drawing a plan please exclude these extra lines okay now let me draw this line here and another line here and also a line here a line here okay so suppose that these all are rooms this is suppose 3 meters this is suppose 5 meters and this is also 3 meters again here I'll uh, suppose that this is 2 meter this is 5 meters this is 3 meters okay, you can suppose anything this is the plan and if I see from this view I'll see the elevation let me draw the elevation as well if I see from here I'll see 1 2 3 bays okay just like it this is my ground this is the first bay of 3 meters this is the second bay of 5 meters and this is the third bay of 3 meters this is this one okay 3 meters 5 meters and 3 meters I'll draw one story I'll draw second story I'll draw third story and all these stories will be of 3 3 3 and 3 meters each okay just an example you can take anything you like and you can also practice with different numbers and different shapes different plans you can download from the google and practice with those things even if i haven't included practice files for certain chapters you have to search you have to search for the practice files uh, which you can use in order to understand the things that i have explained you have to do a little bit of homework by yourself it's not only about me it's about all the teachers that teach you is that don't expect everything from the teacher always give your best from your side even after giving your best you do not understand anything only that approach the teacher in this way you will have that habit of getting things or doing things by yourself you will not be relying on somebody uh, he is a teacher but he is somebody right he is not you uh, you don't have to rely on somebody for doing your works. My suggestion is that always do your best. You got Google, you got Google in your hand through your mobile, you got Google in laptop. You can access the entire world using Google and from the Google you can do a lot of things. And you can see various good examples that are available there. All you have to do is just type the relevant keyword there and the results will be displayed uh, within a fraction of a second. Always do that. Always give your best from your side. Even after doing that, you do not uh, understand any topic. After that, you can approach the teacher and the teacher must be always ready to answer your question, which I am always ready for. Okay, now let us use translation repeat option in order to draw this frame. We will mark the origin as this node. After that, we will draw this node this node and this node so let us uh, go to start pro the coordinates of this node is 0 the coordinate of this node is 3 in x this node is 8 in x and this node is 11 in x so we will just use the coordinates this time so first coordinate is 0 hit 0 and hit enter after that it's 3 meters hit 3 and hit enter after that it's 8 meters hit 8 and hit enter okay save it and hit enter after that it's 11 hit 11 and after that hit enter now suppose that you want to draw a beam from 
beam from here to here just click on add beam and left click here left click here and here here and here okay now you have drawn the beam now now what do you want to do you have drawn this grid now you want to draw this grid the spacing of this grid to this grid is 2 meter remember that and the spacing of this grid to this grid is 5 meter and this grid to this grid is 3 meters what do we do now we just select everything available here you know how to select everything okay i don't have to tell you that all right so after that go to translation repeat option that is available here you can also go from geometry and translation repeat option available here as well click on it now i want to copy these things in the z direction this direction is the z direction what do i do i select the direction as the z direction now number of steps how many number of steps i got i got one step this is one step okay this is one step this is another step and this is the another step we got one two three steps i select number of steps as three default spacing is five meters but we will edit it here first spacing is two second spacing is five and third spacing is three meters three after that one important thing is click on link steps by doing that it will copy all these nodes in these steps and after that it will connect those nodes as well with the frame members or the beam members and click on ok you can see that you got all the required gears of the floor now we have drawn everything in x and y, z direction now let us move in the y direction for that what we will do we will select this floor select everything again after that go to translation repeat from here now we want to copy it in the global y direction number of steps we got how many we got one step so uh, the current floor is this floor okay the current floor that we have selected is this floor that is here and uh, and number of step is 1 2 3 and 4 and the default spacing is 3 meters in this case okay we don't have different spacing here uh, after copying all these four floors what we would like to do is that we would like to clear this floor as well assuming that we don't have anything at the base these frames these columns are just on the ground and there is nothing on the ground floor or uh, no connecting beams for that go to start pro again and number of steps we got four number of steps and default step spacing is three meters and click on link steps this is very important and after that click on ok you can see that you got your frame in the y direction as well now I want to delete these lower beams these lower beams for that just hit delete as I have already selected the beams click on ok they will be deleted and you got a frame this is how the translation repeat is helpful unlike the copy option that will just copy the nodes this will copy the nodes and also link those nodes with the frame members or the beam members hello friends in this video we will see how to use the circular repeat option that is available in start pro for that we will draw a structure let me show you what kind of structure we can draw using the circular circular repeat okay i'll draw a structure all right let me draw it this is a very rough sketch and uh, let us assume that uh, this is circular in shape the top and okay it will have like this all right and same projection here as well okay the kind of drawing that I'm not very proud of but it will do the work that is getting 
teaching you okay and this is also circle all right and here it should be like this all right uh, this is a very rough sketch and let us uh, suppose that uh, this span is of uh, 500 mm 0 0.5 meters and uh, this height is this height is of uh, 5 meters okay and this is span from here to here it's uh, let us take as 3 meters okay so uh, suppose that we want a uh, structure something like this a circular structure over there it goes like this to the top and on the top it's a flat so that you can put something gazur kind of object in that okay if you don't know what gazur is please do a google search you know it will enhance your knowledge uh, gazur is very much famous in nepalese temples you know on the top of the temple you got an object that we call as the gazur let us go to start pro